Hello, my name is Wormio Biach, and today I'm going to be reviewing Morrowstorm RC for the PlayStation Vita. I hope you find this review entertaining and very informative. Enjoy. This is the Morrowstorm RC playground. You can do whatever you want in this place. It's basically the place you want to be in if you want to just chill around and drive your car everywhere while doing crazy stuff, like jumping off a ramp or shooting a football into a goal. Believe it or not, there is even a basket that you can shoot your car into like a basketball. Many of the cars you unlock are also available here to drive. You will see them parked and you can approach them. Then press the X button to drive them in the playground. Exploring the playground could be a lot of fun, although when you first start the game, it's pretty small, but it gradually gets bigger as you unlock more medals, which is by coming third, second or first place in any event. There are four points of view to the game, dynamic, fixed, offset, and aerial cameras. Morrowstorm RC is no different than the older Morrowstorms on the PS3. This game features a wide range of vehicles to choose from. They include super minis, monster trucks, racing trucks, buggies, rally cars, big rigs, supercars, and of course, my favorite, muscle cars. Each car is suitable for certain modes and tracks. For example, muscle cars are best used for drifting events, because their speed and drifting abilities are what you need to rack those points up. Every car has a decent amount of colors and paint jobs to choose from, to have that unique look that you're looking for. There are four festivals in Morstorm RC, which have their names based on the other Morstorms that have been released in the past. They include Monument Valley, which is based on the first Morstorm, Pacific Rift, the second Morstorm on the PS3, Arctic Edge, it is the first and only Morstorm for the PSP, and Apocalypse, the third Morstorm on the PS3. Each festival has 12 events that you can clear, which means they each have 36 medals overall, and every one of them has 3 medals to win. By becoming first place, you can get all 3 medals. Racing is one of the 4 modes available in Morrowstorm RC. This is probably going to be your first event. I don't think I really need to explain what you have to do in this one, but I will anyway. Basically, you are pitted against 7 other vehicles, and all of you are competing to reach the first place. Some racetracks have you race around 3 laps, and some 4. Each lap doesn't take more than 30 seconds, but then again, it depends on your skill while driving the car. The racetracks aren't big at all, the environments look good, and make you feel that you're driving an RC car in a big area. The hot lap mode is where you are thrown into the racetrack alone and you're expected to be the specified time. There will be three arrows during the event, each one is for a certain rank, gold, silver or bronze. The arrows are basically the times you need to pass to gain medals. You won't see them here because I've already done the hot lap in this track. It'll only show the arrow I couldn't beat and my former ghost lap. In most of the hot laps you need near perfect driving skills to get all three medals and beat the arrow or time specified, whatever you want to call it. Pursuit mode asks you to try and overtake a certain amount of vehicles in a certain period of time. Let's say overtake 10 vehicles in a minute and 10 seconds. That'll get you all 3 medals. However, if you're very slow and take longer than that, then you might only receive 1 medal. That's if you fit the time for a medal. If you take longer, then you won't receive any at all. This mode can get annoying if you're trying to overtake a car and instead you crash behind it and it'll slow you down while giving the other car a small boost, which means you'll need to accelerate and try to pass cars without hitting them. Trust me though, sometimes it's very hard, if not impossible, not to crash behind them and get delayed.
Drift mode is my favorite mode, it's also the hardest by far. When you're playing in drift mode you need to make sure you rack enough needed points to gain medals. Of course it's not as easy as it sounds and you have to do it in a limited amount of time. Try not to get spun out because that will lose you a lot of valuable time. Precision balance and knowing your environment are all keys to drifting and it's no different here. You will be using muscle cars in this mode because they are the most fit for drifting as opposed to the other vehicles available. I mean who would want to drift using a monster truck? Although I gotta admit, that would be pretty awesome and crazy at the same time. More Storm RC is a great addition to the PS Vita library and it's well worth getting, especially if you like driving cars or RC cars to be precise. This has been Wormio BH and I hope you've enjoyed my review. Take care!